Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I have returned to the Alpine Circle after a break, I have returned and we are going to be doing something for Thriller Fawn to mark my comeback. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mitch McKid and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, first form for a month. And what we're going to be doing today, well, courtesy of 3D Realms and the Xbox Live Arcade. We'll be seeing what we'll be playing shortly for Thrillathon 2014, the Halloween special. Yep, it is time for some... Duke Nukem 3D! It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gum. Oh yes! The king of FPSs is finally getting his LP courtesy of Mitch McKid Productions UK! We're going to be doing Let's Rock because I know Come Get Some is much more difficult and this game isn't really that easy. So with that being said, let's begin with the first episode of the game, LA Meltdown and the first level, Hollywood Holocaust. Yes, the alien bastards are going to pay for shooting up Duke Nukem's ride. How right is he? Alright, so looking at the whole premise of the uh, game, you could tell, you could definitely tell this was actually stylized on the classic FPSs like Doom. A lot of people actually remember this alongside Doom as one of the pioneers of the, of the FPS community, of the FPS genre. One thing I liked about this game of how is the dialogue of how it's really implemented in this game. How much, the reason why is because of John St. John being the voice of the almighty Duke. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to admit this right now, this is considered to be not only the funniest LP F no, FPS ever, but also probably pretty much the Michael Bay of all, the Michael Bay equivalent of FPSs. Why? Because you'll be seeing explosions a lot, as evident in this LP. But with that bit, well enough chit chat, let's see what the premise is in. It's pretty much stylized on Doom only except you've got different weapons. You can carry, instead of carrying up to seven or eight weapons, you can carry up to nine weapons by looking at the weapon HUD. And of course, you actually get, you actually get armor, you get health, you get, but, it's, but unlike Doom, you actually get I actual items. And you can actually interact with the actual atmosphere as well as opening door, as well as bre breaking stuff as well. This is what 3D Worlds decided to do to the formula make it a bit of an evolution to that of the Doom community. But at the same time, Quake was also out by ID as well. But that was also when John Romero was leaving the whole co the, um, company as well. So basically, what is Duke Nukem 3D? It's pretty much, um, pretty much a four episodes. It's like the original Doom. It's episodic. It's got, it's got so much going on with the action. And of course, instead of actually fighting hell demons, you're now fighting aliens from outer space, as well as transformed police officers known as Lard, or the Pig Cops, as many people actually mainly call them. And unlike Doom, you can actually carry your own medikit. You have also health upgrades like in Doom, but you can also destroy anything that moves. But you can actually heal any time, so that's pretty a pretty in a pretty convenient way to actually healing yourself. Now, like in Doom, you, the soundtrack was also composed by Bobby Prince as well. I'm going to admit this right now. Why a lot of people actually kind of like Bobby Prince from Doom, so they decided to hire him on for the soundtrack, I think 3D Realms did. Just to make something which is medi. But this was like a standard in the 1990s. But because this was released in 1996, it pretty much was uh, more, you know... You know, pretty much a standard for FPS games to have MIDI soundtracks. Doom had that, so why not Duke Nukem 3D? I just don't think they had enough technical advancements in order to getting uh, the real instruments in. And oh my god, here are the pig cops. Oh my god. These guys pack a good punch. But they, they, they are not the worst of enemies. You'll be seeing who, what the cheapest enemies are in the later stages of the uh, SLP. Or well, later on, basically. And one annoying enemy I'll be showing you right now is these freaking turrets. They will be annoying later on. But whenever you shoot at them, they actually spin. So that they won't be able to hit you. I right, need to uh, drop down. See if we can drop down safely. Right. Ooh, I'm going to... 
Also, I'm going to say that this game is no stranger to having any secret areas, and this is pretty much evident. You can actually get actual powerful weapons like the Ripper, the RPG, pipe bombs, and of course, later on, the Shrinker, and of course, the and of course, the everybody's favourite, the Devastator. Fantastic weapon. So anyway, we have fun. We have done our first level, Hollywood Hollycast, and whenever you actually pl actually uh, complete a level, this happens. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to be doing the Xbox 360 version because it's got a rewind feature. Whenever you do your mistakes, you can actually rewind them to do anything. And, um, and unlike any LP, which is up, I'm at. And of course, as a standard of my new LPs, and as I promised, I'm actually going to be editing out. There's going to be actual editing for this game, for this um, LP. So you'll be actually seeing me cutting out most, if not all, of the deaths. The only deaths I'm going to show is when he actually talks, like like some of his lines, when he gets extremely pissed off by his deaths, or pretty much. Or pretty much when there's a lot of when it uh, can actually ch ch show some AI cheapness as well, and how cheap some of the enemies are in this game. Well, trust me, the AI in uh, Duke Nukem Forever I think is a little, uh, you know, more inconsistent, much more destructional. And yes, this was of course the game to also a court controversy, like it's um, like um. Doom, pretty much due to the themes of pornography and violence and treatment of women. Pretty much like what do Doom was condemned for having its uh, overwhelmingly ultra high violence and satanic imagery. This one had pornography and huge amounts of violence and treatment of women as well. <clears throat> Why can't I think America is really messed up with certain kind of types of controversy, ladies and gentlemen? I just really don't know why this is the case. Sometimes the Senate are a bit messed up. Okay, so sometimes puzzles can be switches can be tricked. Be there will be mandatory triggering of uh, switches using uh, bullets like um, the handgun. So with that being said, I am going to absolutely say this right now. I am really not, don't know why you could actually see controversy from the United States government. Because I don't get what the freaking fuss is about. It's just a video game. It's not real. And yet people seem to depict it. I don't understand why. Yeah. Anyway, this is the only way we can actually get. Now, in order, now, like in Doom, you have to collect key cards in order to actually progress through. Key cards are known as access cards in this game. So, pretty much, if you want to uh, try and search everywhere, hunting high and low, in order to get through. So, with that being said, let's get let's get this on, shall we? Another pickup in a flying vehicle. This guy's flying all over the place. I need to try and see if I can hit him. Uh, this guy's gonna fidget, so it's gonna be hard to hit. Also, the fact that he's behind this guy. Wait a minute, splat! He's just splatted onto the ground. And at certain times, you can actually um, hear helicopters going over the sky. Ooh, a pretty nice touch. Oh, and also, if you blow up an enemy or even d destroy him entirely, you can actually hear him say, eat, sh eat shit and die, and other kinds of uh, words that he comes up with, too. Typical Duke Nukem, he is definitely a freaking badass. And I commend John St. John's voice work. What an absolutely fantastic voice actor he is. We haven't got the boots yet. Oh, goodness gracious me! One of the most cheapest and annoying enemies in the game, the Octobots. Damn. <sighs> Admittedly, I'm going to admit this right now, I do actually think that Bob Prince's soundtrack of this game is a little bit better than that of uh, Doom's. Because I think he put a bit more dedication to this soundtrack than in, um, than in Doom. Although I'm going to admit this right now, I, do, I, I actually think the soundtrack of Doom is pretty good, but I think this, the soundtrack is a little bit better. 
But admittedly, I think I was more accustomed to Aubrey Hodges' soundtrack rather than uh, Bobby Prince's in Doom. Right. Right, you got. I've got him. Okay, so I destroyed certain. Uh, destroyed a toilet. That's not too good. Uh, I, just, I was out of complete curiosity. There's some. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want. You can actually find the secret is uh, pretty much uh, very good uh, scavenger hunt. You can actually find cracked walls, and that's just uh, something that I would love to see. Oh, goodness gracious. You want to And in this game, you do can tip the women, but I'm not intending to do that to certain women in the game, because you know what? I'm not that extreme of a guy in certain L in my LPs. I don't try to be. <sighs> Uh, no, Duke, you don't have an ego system. That's for Duke Nukem Free forever. Okay, so destroy, let's destroy these pink cops. Definitely, Duke. Blowing free the boss old pink cops up. Destroy these alien bastards! Who's shooting at me? You nearly took off all near half of my all of my health. Get. Dude, uh, if I have to say these pig cops are as bad as the shotgun guys in Doom. Yeah, maybe because they pack a punch. <laughs> what was that noise? Hail's the king, baby. Oh, yes. Reminds me of that Ben Sevenfold song, Hail to the King. I wish that would have been Duke Nukem's song in the in if there's a new Duke Nukem game, that could be Duke Nukem's new theme song. And my god, I actually love Avenged Sevenfold. I am I actually love Avenged Sevenfold because since uh, one of my friends, Shad Silf Sun Eleven and uh, a few other friends actually loves this bat that band, it's just absolutely fantastic. Got four of their albums already. No Brony Drumming Forever also likes Avenged Sevenfold as well. I've got four of their albums from City of Evil to their recent album, Hail to the King. Yeah. Who was shooting at me? Alright. So, so I'm gonna. Oh. What the hell? Did he just clip? Did he... Oh my god, he clipped! Out of my way, pig cop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to cut out the uh, death because you know what? Yeah, I was, I got, I died, I got out of my first death, but, and of course we got that secret place with that, um, with that health pack, but unfortunately we did trapped anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. So where are we going next? We completed the like, districts, we got captured, so where are we going? Indeed. Death row. God damn it, I just got sentenced to death. But I managed to escape immediately. Oh for fuck's sake, I nearly I'm I'm nearly dead. Come on, come on you, you fucking wanker! Though considering I've lost all my weapons, it doesn't really matter anyway. Well at the beginning of the stage you do you stripped off every one of your weapons, so it lit so it doesn't really matter if you die or not. So I decided not to cut the death out. It's only for the amount of deaths that I have. It's only for the deaths that, that do not to avoid any uh, kind of, uh, you know, padding or pretty much unnecessary, uh, um, you know, um, padding in the LP. But you know what? I decided to cut out most of the deaths because if, in order to not waste any of my uh, subscribers or any uh, watchers time, Oh dear. Oh fuck's sake, I've got my I have a medikit oh, okay. And he said, um I said, where is it? Okay, about the where is it big whenever you do uh, uh, hit any what actually uh, goes um, um, uh, several times he'll go where is it? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, once you actually hit that, uh, there's a little secret Easter egg and I'll have to show you like that. After I kill that stupid little ox brain. There he is! That's one doom it's Doom Guy! 
Right, I'm sorry to say this. Doom guy, your time won't come until sometime next year for LPing. Well, definitely, well, technically, I'm get, you're getting a, um, a review in the future, so you're getting a review during that thrillathon. So what's the gonna, so does it doesn't even matter? And because I haven't got my pistol, so oh come on, oh god damn it, I've missed it. Come on, there we go. Oh, oh! the activate. Right. It. Yeah, there we go. Right, shoot this nerve for a atomic health, but then we get two atomic health there and a, and a piece of armor, so at least we're good. And we're good for health. So we need to do some gunslinging, uh, Doom style. Stop being so stupid. Cool. Big cops, typical assholes. I nearly, I nearly ran out of ammo, but at least I, at least I've got. Hail to the king. Oh yeah, hail to the king! Yeah, at least uh, I hope Duke would sing "Hail to the King" in some way. <clears throat> oh yes, oh because John St. John is freaking bad. He's the ultimate badass of uh, the badass of voice actors. I think I can compare him to the likes of um, Ron Perlman, aka Hellboy's. Main actor. Opted in terms of that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I just um, I just had something stuck in my throat. <sighs> I need to stare back here. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy. Get blown up. Uh, stupid little. What a stupid gullible little pig hop. Walking right into his own trap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of secrets that can be blown up in walls. Uh, and Duke better. was even desperate for piss. Oh no, what is that? That's an incubated woman. What is? Ha what are those aliens up to? So not only is it the game is really controversial in terms of. Um, Treatment of women, they had to uh, do the alien approach. If you remember in the alien franchise, you know those who get impregnated were the ones who got um, face hugged by their face huggers. Remember the alien, remember an alien in the alien franchise? Well, well, the films anyway, not the video. The video games don't count, it's the movie franchise that you should uh, watch. Anyway, we got to go out here for the red key card, I believe. Yes, we got the access card. <sighs> now, the good thing about uh, the pig cops is that whenever you do actually kill them, they usually uh, drop off any um, any shotgun ammo or pretty much any um, any uh, or used armor. If you're low on armor and you get used up and they drop off any armor, grab it as much as you can because you will definitely benefit. <laughs> Oh my god. Who is in operations of this? Yeah. If it's the Cycloid Emperor, I am definitely going to absolutely try and rip his guts out. Or maybe, uh, sh or maybe rip out his eye, piss on his, and piss in his brains. God, this game is so controversial. And there were laser, there were laser trip mines there, but unfortunately, I think one of the psych, I think one of the aliens just walked right into his own trap. <laughs> like what oh, happened to that pig hop earlier? How gullible are these aliens? Very atomic elf. At least I've got some atomic. At least I got some nice, lovely atomic elf. Atomic elf will allow you to actually. We will allow you to actually get any health over 100. I think I just killed the cycloid. I think, that, I think that's what the official name of the aliens are, the cycloids. Stupid... Uh, oh no, they're, they're, I forgot there are turrets outside. I, I think that might be the ones that what they are shooting me at. Ripper ammo. 
Come on, eat shit and die. Now that's what Duke Nukem would say, eat shit and die. Pound cake. Yeah, sorry about that, it's a bad joke. Uh, one of my friends that I usually uh, see at a singles uh, at a sing at, at a singles club in uh, singles club of where what I do usually on a on a usually on one Monday per month. I usually see a guy and he usually says pound calls me a pound cake, so that's why I say pound cake. Right, so we've got to blow up these uh, walls, but we have to keep our distance as well. At least we got convenient pipe bombs there in case we run low. So blowing up, so I think blowing up these uh, these lovely little um these walls aren't isn't going to be too bad. I think I'll climb aboard. Oh, there's a submarine there. Oh, submarine. Lovely. Yeah, we need the scuba gear so we're not to go in the water. But we'll be using it more prominently from the next part onwards. Alright, down we go. I think the I think the, the, the noises are much more lower, much more slow once we go in the water. Right, we're on board the sub and we're nearly finished with this part anyway. Activate the switch. So what does this do? Oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not doing it. What's in there? I don't know what's in there. So you know, screw it. Let's just finish this level off. All right, what is the truck sequence? Hello, three. And let's complete Death Row. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for when we take on the next three wrap. We take on the next three levels of of LA Meltdown. And with that being said, we'll take on the rest of the episode. And with that being said, I'm Mitch McKenna. I'll see you guys in part two of the Duke Nukem LP.